What's up traders? This is Matt with Conservative Trades. Hope you guys are doing all right today. As you can see, a little rough day for me in the markets today, but today's video is going to be short, sweet, to the point, and we are going to talk about how one bad trade can mess up your whole day because frankly, that's what happened to me today. So, I was actually doing very well today. I was, well, I I wouldn't say very well, but I think at one point I was up, I don't know, uh, over $200 and uh, then, of course, I had taken one one or two trades that didn't work out so well. And so then maybe I was down to, I don't know, 150s, 160s, somewhere like that. I, I can't re remember the exact numbers. Of course, you, you are more than welcome to go back and watch the live stream. Uh, all of the live streams that we do Monday through Friday are posted to the channel afterwards. And so, um, but anyway, besides the point, this this day was still intact for me. We'll put it like that. It was still intact until I took a trade on Boeing. And I'll go ahead and pull that up here and I'll see if I can find it. If I pull up my studies here, um, let's see, show executions. Okay. So this actually happened pretty early in the morning. I, I want to say it happened right here. Okay. So what time was it? it happened somewhere in here. I want to say that this is where it happened right here. Yeah, right around 1030, right around 1030. Um, I went short and, and you can see I went short. So we, we were knocking on the door to this this critical level here at uh, 156, basically. And, you know, it had rejected it one time. Spy was looking weak. It was coming down. It tested it again, um, rejected, but then came back down, tested it again. I got in, but then I had to get out quickly. Um, because it started going against me. And so it came back down again right here. And I thought, surely this is the break. This has got to be the break. And I loaded up, guys. I loaded in with 300 shares, which on a stock like Boeing that can move a whole dollar pretty instantly, that's not always great for a conservative trading strategy. So here's the thing, guys. Um, you know, I had, I had taken a couple losses, but I was still green on the day. I was still green on the day. And I just saw this as my opportunity to, you know, to, to get out quickly and to be done. And this is the move here that I was looking for. Look, this moved all the way down to $148. So once it did break, we got, you know, a seven, $8 move here. Okay. And I was looking for that move on 300 shares. And I did kind of notice it, you know, kind of stalling out a little there, but I was going to give it a chance to work itself out. But next thing I know, it just starts going back on me. And anyway, I, I had to take a pretty significant loss. And at that point, I was underwater probably, I don't know, uh, I was underwater a good bit, probably somewhere around 300, maybe 300 and some dollars on the day. And so today, just the rest of the day, which you can see, I didn't really trade a lot in this time frame. I had other work that I had to tend to. And um, so, you know, but I, I did come back to the markets, as you can see later in the afternoon, and I took some good scalping trades, took a long here and scalped out a little here. Um, I don't know if this was a long or short. I think this was another long and then scalped out a little there. Glad I did because it ended up getting crushed. And anyway, there's just, you can see all these dots here, all these dots, every one of these dots is a trade. And so without going through all of that, um, you know, here's the thing, guys. Um, you know, I've been kind of going back and forth with myself today, just really considering my thought process with everything. And the big question is, is would I have not taken 300 shares on that trade? And I still think I would have taken 300 shares. I think if I had to go go back and do it all over again, I would still take the 300 shares because hindsight, hindsight's 2020, guys. But this came down once, twice, three times, and on the fourth time, you know, I was just sure of it. I was sure that you know the candle opened up here and it started to come down again, and it was knocking on that door to uh, 1 156. And had we gotten this move, I would have easily made. Uh, a three or four hundred dollar trade on it easily easily i may have even carried those shares longer than i mean this could have been a five or six hundred dollar trade truth be told now i you know i wouldn't have carried the full 300 shares for the full seven dollars i mean there's no way that'd be a twenty one hundred dollar move there's no way i would do that i'm not even going to act like i would do that but i would have been able to capitalize anywhere from we'll say four to seven hundred dollars just depending on how i played this move when it finally dropped um and so i think i would i think if i could go back and do it i still would have taken the trade. I think what I would have done differently is, is it, it's something that I normally do. It's something I actually talked about in my video yesterday is I probably would have, when it, when it was stalling out at 156, I probably would have removed at least a hundred of my shares off the table, maybe even 150. Maybe I might've just reduced half my shares. 
And then if it started to snap back like that, I probably would have just went ahead and gotten out. And I would have suffered a much, much, much less of a loss on that. And um, I wouldn't have had to spend, you know, the rest of this afternoon digging myself out of the red. So again, you know, look, 300 shares is, is, is really not a lot. You know, now, yes, when, when a stock is moving, um, you know, 50 cents to a dollar pretty quickly, um, it is a little more, um, it is a little less conservative. I, you know, typically I'm only taking one or 200 shares. I mean, 300 was probably the max load for me. And so, um, you know, now I could have taken five or 600 shares. I mean, I could have really gone on aggressively. So even with that in mind, you know, 300 is still, you know, fairly conservative, but it, it just, it, you know, again, I, I think, I think I still would have taken the, the, the 300 shares, but I think when I saw it stalling out again with as many times as it, as it bounced back and rejected off of this level, I probably would have reduced half my share size. And that, that could have, that could have saved me a big, really big loss on the day. And so anyway, guys, you know, as you can see here, I, I did trade a lot and uh, truth be told, I'm probably really down maybe 150 bucks on the day after fees and commissions. So, but you know what, yesterday was a great day. It was a great start to the week. Um, today is, is, was, you know, we all knew it was going to be an interesting day. We knew that the spy was starting to, you know, break out and, and, and break through more critical levels on the daily. And we did, you know, we kind of came all the way up here to 275, but we got rejected. And as you can see, we pretty much spent the majority of the day, um, getting crushed and brought back down to these levels. Now, whatever, what, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow, I don't know. Um, you know, of course, obviously, if we if we end up losing this 263.22 level, I will probably look to to be on the short side of some trades, at least down to the 257 level here. But um, you know, if you guys want to, you know, join us in the live stream, we'll be here tomorrow morning, starting roughly around 9 a.m. And uh, I'll get in here and I'll and I'll discuss everything. You know, I'll I'll, I'll kind of give the plan of action for the day. You know, um, oftentimes it's really hard to tell the day before, especially in a market like this, because we just don't know what's going to happen overnight. And so that's why you know that's why that's, that's one good thing about being a day trader. You know, you move to you move back to cash at the end of every trading day. We we do not hold these stocks overnight, and I. I personally wouldn't would not hold stock any any kind of stock in these market conditions right now. It's just too hard to sit or too hard to tell what's what's going to happen. But um but yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. If you guys would like to, feel free to join us. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.